In this problem, we need to evaluate the integral 0 going to infinity, the fourth root of x multiplied e raised to the power of negative time square root of x integrated with respect to x. Now, to evaluate this particular integral, we are going to rewrite it as integral 0 going to infinity x raised to the power of 1 fourth times e raised to the power of negative square root of x dx. Let this be equation number 1. And we're going to make a substitution square root of x is equals to t such that x is equals to t squared and differentiating both sides gives us dx is equals to 2t t t. t. Now, we also need to change the limit. So when x approaches 0, t is going to approach 0 as well as when x approaches infinity, t is also going to approach infinity. Hence, our equation 1 now becomes integral i is equals to integration 0 going to infinity in place of x, we have t squared whole raised to the power of 1 fourth times e raised to the power of negative t times dx will become 2t dt. 2 times integration 0 to infinity, t raised to the power of half times t times e raised to the power of negative t dt. Which gives us 2 times integration 0 to infinity, t raised to the power of 3 over 2 times e raised to the power of negative t dt. T, 3 over 2 can be also written as t raised to the power of 5 over 2 minus 1. Now this is done so that we can use the definition of the gamma function. The gamma of n is equals to integration 0 to infinity x raised to the power of n minus 1 times e raised to the power of negative x dx. Hence, we have 2 times gamma of 5 over 2. Now we need to find out the value of gamma of 5 over 2. For that, we can rewrite gamma of 5 over 2 as gamma of 3 over 2 plus 1 and use the fact that gamma of n plus 1 is equals to n times gamma n. So we have 2 times 3 over 2 times gamma of 3 over 2. So the 2 and 2 gets factored out, leaving us with 3 times gamma of 3 over 2. So gamma of 3 over 2 can be written as gamma of half plus 1 such that we get 3 times half into gamma of half. And we know that the value of gamma of half is square root of pi. So that finally gives us 3 over 2 times square root of pi. Thus, the value of the integral, integration 0 to infinity, fourth root of x times e raised to the power of minus square root of x dx is 3 over 2 times square root of pi.